this time the economic and development report. Good evening. Good evening. I apologize that I don't have copies of this report for everyone, but uh, there are some projects that we're working on. We have, uh, uh, first of all, the micro enterprise program. Uh, we've secured funding for a micro enterprise program, and currently we're looking for individuals that are interested in becoming business owners to enroll in the program. It's absolutely free. Uh, it's an opportunity for those aspiring to become business owners to gain much needed assistance in developing business plans, computer skills, and literacy, as well as to learn how to develop equity in their businesses uh, financially. Uh, the complete design of the program is to teach our citizens how to develop and manage their own businesses. Um, LED is aware that small businesses are driving force behind any economy, therefore they're investing in you, the people. And we have another one, Biotech. Is currently, we're talking with Biotech to locate a facility in Winsboro. Uh, this opportunity will create about 100 jobs, and these are high-end jobs. Uh, and they'll set us on the map as a green conscious community. Uh, the CEO of Biotech has stated that Winsboro is very high on his priority list of places to locate uh, that company. And third project is a solar farm. Uh, we've been in discussions with the mayor about um, a solar farm. Uh, Ronald Lewis and myself, we took a trip and we kind of got some verbal commitments of some funding for a solar farm. Uh, and in this project, we're going to embark on to uh, generate solar energy in Winsboro uh, to supply electric services to uh, all of the town's buildings, uh, saving the town over $20,000 a month. Uh, it's our ultimate desire to uh, supply energy to all of Northeast Louisiana. Currently, we are in the uh, discussions with the uh, Louisiana Energy Program to assist in the development uh, of the farm. Uh, Dan Chase, a local business owner, is the uh, chair of the committee to help in the development of that farm. Uh, one acre of uh, solar energy uh, generating panels will supply uh, up to 50, uh, about 50 plus units uh, using an average of seven kilowatts uh, of power per month. Uh, and that's on that program. And then we have the uh, Federal Qualified Health Center is a FQHC. It's uh, designed to serve the people in Winsboro that have transportation and financial issues. It's meant to be a complement to our local facilities instead of uh, uh, that's the, the uh, facility that's already in place. And because of its nature, it'll save the Franklin Parish Hospital thousands of dollars uh, in unpaid emergency room uh, bills. Uh, and just like the clinic in Wisner, uh, it's, it's there to benefit the undeserved populace from Winsboro to Monroe. Uh, many of our citizens use the emergency room for basically doctor visits. Uh, they go for headaches, toothaches, joint pains, uh, and all of this is, you know, is an issue for them. And some of those bills go unpaid, but uh, this will be an, an asset to uh, the hospital that we currently have, and it will reduce the uh, number of people that are being run into uh, the emergency room is for that underserved market. And then we have a Subway restaurant. The uh, Subway restaurant is uh, just about complete. The only thing left is the approval of the fire marshal uh, office and, on, and some construction issues. And then we have Regal John's. It's a Porter John company. Uh, it's also close to moving into Winsboro. We're currently working with the uh, state to finalize the permits that would allow Regal John's to dump into the city sanitation system. As soon as the permit is signed, the DEQ, uh, these, this will be the 13th and 14th uh, new businesses that will be located in Winsboro over the last 10 months. The mayor has a vision to uh, make Winsboro a center of green technology, green jobs, and green built homes and products. Uh, we're poised to become the nation's uh, place to come to be trained in the latest renewable concepts as well as a place where citizens are concerned about protecting the environment and the planet that we live. Thank you. Yes. The, uh, the biotech, can you explain or expound on that a little bit more as to what that is and what, how it affects uh, Winsboro? Yeah, a biotech is a, um, it's a seed crushing plant. They'll take a seed and they'll crush that seed and they'll take the oil out. It's about 97% oil production from that seed. 
that oil can be used as a fuel to go into vehicles. Uh, when it's in, in a vehicle, instead of you getting an oil change every three to 5,000 miles, that oil change will come more to five to 10,000 miles. Uh, that will create jobs in the farming industry. It'll create jobs in the processing industry, uh, grain elevators, uh, of course, land, uh, lots of things. Plus, it can save us, the town itself, it can save a ton of money just on maintenance costs for you know, its vehicles. The seed that you're referring to that's going to be crushed, is it, is it going to be, uh, is it an import or, or, or will, it be, will it be brought in or how are we going to be, how, we going to, how are you going to receive that? How are you going well, to a lot it? of the details are not there. Um, and so we have to just, you know, get with you on the, on the details of that. But there are things that are going on now, negotiations, and a lot of that will be worked out, you know, before we actually sue yeah. with bringing them in, in town. And the seed that is being brought in is a cash for seed. And the Department of Agriculture has approved of the uh, of the planting of that seed uh, in, in in the state. So what what will end up happening is they what they want to do is they want to come in and create a crushing plant to crush the seed, produce the oil, and the oil that they use is already in, in our local Walmart. As a matter of fact, we I found some of it in there just last weekend. So the oil that Biotech produces is in our Walmart now. It's not being produced in Louisiana. It's being produced in Oklahoma. But what they want to do is they're, they're transferring their operation to Louisiana. And because of the abundance of farmland that we have in this area, they're considering that they, that they really would like to locate here. has decided that that particular seed is conducive to this area. Yes, sir. In terms of area, 2,500 Walmarts right now product is 2500 and they're in negotiation with some other people so the uh, product can be expanded upon. Any other questions? Thank you. I'll entertain a motion to receive that motion. It's been properly moved. Second. And second, uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposers, you have the same right. Let the record reflect that it's unanimously approved.